when we just stopped having friends two minutes ago, which is a fantastic start. I'm just already up to 5,000 dropped frames in the first nine minutes of this. Twenty percent dropped frames and climbing.
All right, I, nope, okay, never mind. I was gonna say that I might have found the Wi-Fi channel that actually has Wi-Fi on it, but nope. In fact, that is false. None of them have internet on them currently. Okay. Holding still. Nope. Every time I start to say something, the frames immediately drop. Currently holding nice and steady here at 40% dropped frames overall, which is a very, very good number. High quality percentage. Give this a shot. I might end up calling this in five minutes, depending on how this goes. Again, like instantly, as soon as I say a single word, OBS's indicator changes to red. I've been planning to play this for a while. Um, just planning on playing this right before I play Samus Returns so that I can compare the two games, and then I never actually ever played Samus Returns. Uh, but now that another Metroid game is coming out that uses the Samus Return engines, Samus Returns engine, I figured I should probably get around to doing that. Well, I, I love this game a lot. This is my favorite soundtrack in the Metroid series. So I want to talk about that, like, a lot. Which is why I would like it if the internet cooperates so that I can actually stay on mic. And this song here that's been looping for the last 10 minutes, the title theme, I think is cool because it feels to me almost like a parody of the original Metroid title theme, except everything is wrong about it. So it starts off kind of the same way with kind of beeping noises and 
ominous booming before actually bringing in the melody later, bringing up into the climax, and then dropping back down into more booming at the end. But there are these weird unsynchronized sound effects. Dissonant accompaniment coming up later. actually do I push here? Might not be picking up the controller at all. Okay. Disconnect and reconnect. It's interesting that you start off with ball as well as missiles and you don't actually lose them at any point you just have those from the start of the game This song here, the kind of main exploration thing, I have jokingly called the worst song in the game in the past because it's very normal compared to a lot of the songs that I really like in this game. But it's a good song. I like it. I think it's actually kind of important that it's normal as a comparison point for the weird songs in the game that come later. Yeah, the timeline is Metroid, Metroid 2, Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion. Now 
Metroid 1 is on the planet Zetus. Then this... This game t takes place on a different planet, uh, SR388. And the plot is, there are Metroids here, and we need to murder all of them. It's okay, we will... In fact, we will not kill all of the Metroids. There will be at least one left at the end, which may or may not bring about the plot of Super Metroid. Yeah, Super Metroid is back on Zebus. Spoilers! explanation of what just happened there. In the bottom right corner of the screen there's a counter of all the Metroids remaining on this planet. There are 38, there were 39. If I pause the game that number changes to an L. Right now it's 4. Um, that is the number of Metroids I have to kill before I get access to the next area. So you need to completely eliminate all the Metroids in the area you're currently in before you can progress to the next one. And that rumbling is lava disappearing in the direction opposite I went. Yeah, no, no rock monster in this game, unfortunately. So, ultimately, this is not worth playing. that health. Uh, no diagonal. Four directions only.
So that's the acid down there. The blocking progression to the next area. So once I kill the four Metroids in the upcoming area, I believe this will drop down here. officially off the main tunnel and onto one of the sub areas which means we get the ambient noises. It's just a single audio channel chirping, but it's still very evocative, I think. It feels more organic than, like, you know, spooky, spooky ambient strings and stuff would feel. get through there yet. I think I need bombs. Uh, but I like how the game is telling you here. There's a Metroid. If you proceed through this, just simply by the inclusion of this, and you'll find, I think, in almost every case, if not every single case, there is a Metroid husk around a Metroid before you fight it. Usually before it, but sometimes after it just to surprise you. Like the first encounter that we did, there was no warning. It's just walk through this hallway and oops, there's a Metroid there. But in this one you get the advanced warning.
you're going to get green and darker green, and you're going to like it, buddy. explosives. This is probably my favorite song in the entire game. And I love it for just how, like, aggressively alien it is, which is perfect because it plays in the alien ancient ruins areas. makes no sense. And there's, you know, an extra beat thrown in in the middle for no reason, and it changes tempo in the middle of a phrase for no reason. Feels like it was not written by a human being, but rather alien bird people.
pretend that damage boost was intentional. God, this game gives you ice beam like instantly at the start. thing about this game, a technical thing, um, technical detail is that probably to save space, this game copies a lot of the same rooms, it uses the same room data multiple times across the map. So if you can break a wall in one version of this room, you can break it in every version of that room. So even though there's nothing down here, that wall is still breakable. And it will be in every other copy of this room, even though the actual item is different. The layouts of the rooms are the same, but items and enemy placement can be different. Those are on the different layers or whatever. I think up there was a dead end, and this is the way I want to go right now. Just miss every single shot. Can't get in there right now. Alright, we got a Metroid coming down here. Got spider ball, which means we can do this. And then immediately fall back down the hole. As God intended. Here's the next Metroid, but we just haven't scrolled it enough on screen so that it'll actually activate. 
Hey, buddy. We did it. We we killed the Metroid. We we finished the game. It's called Metroid 2 because there are two Metroids and we've killed both of them. Jerk. Other jerk. a dead end before. I couldn't reach there before I had the spider ball. I'll just get hit by that thing three whole times.
stop that. I think this is where I just entered the room again. If I jump. Yeah. Check if there's anything up this wall. where I got knocked down before. All right, so I'm probably done here. Probably not, but I won't say for sure there isn't until we finish this. So far had three Metroid husks, but zero Metroids. I really, really like the Metroid battle theme in this too. It's also very aggressively alien, as I would put it. Um, but it's kind of hard to hear it because I'm always shooting and flailing around and panicking during it. That went well. And also it ends in four seconds. Missiles on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just land one missile on the Metroid. It's my only request. Yeah, don't worry, I got you covered, Jade. Possibly I will hit that thing at some point. because I froze it. that we've killed the two Metroids and then the three extra DLC Metroids. We can move on to the next area. acid here originally, and there no longer is, so we can make our way down the path without suffering horribly and dying, which is generally a plus.
had eight whole Metroids to murderize in this area. Pixels, why? This might be the actual sub-area. Well, let me check if there's anything to do in the other direction first. Ah, there's not. Just a wall there. Very good. This is a new ambient chirping track. Basically the same thing as the first one, except with a different noise. liquid. Ow. Uh, did I freeze the projectile? I think I did. That's fine. That's how lasers work. I like this temple area, because you just walk through it, and there's absolutely nothing there, and you're like, well, that was pointless, why was that here? But in this room specifically, you walk past these foreground 
tunnel things that are completely new and it kind of gets you primed into thinking that maybe there was another way to enter this that you can use these passages or something. Very rude spikes there, not letting me climb up there. Is that I really want to climb up there, and I think the game should let me climb up there. on a laser again. Oh, never mind. Never gonna stand on a laser ever again. Almost look like I know what I do. I was doing. To be clear, I don't. I absolutely have never known what I'm doing. So don't be confused.
a bunch of free shit on the other side of this room I can't get to right now, but I guess we will look out for another passageway. I walked onto that bullet. Wiggle Bean. weird secret area to hide the beam in because it's a very um, Metroid 1 secret where there's literally no reason to believe you can go through this wall, except you can. But on the other hand, there's a 50-50 chance you're either going to spider ball up this wall in order to escape and find that, or spider ball up the other wall this one here, and pass by it entirely. So, a coin flip that you'll actually end up finding it on your own, just by completely normal playing of this game. So, kinda hidden, but also kinda not? Still need to know how to get into the other side of that room. I don't know if you do it from this room or if you come at it from a different place entirely. Of 
Or you could have gotten the high jump boots and completely 100% skipped by that. That's another thing where there was no reason to have expected that to work and to lead to a secret area. Metroid 1 design, except there's a good chance that you would have been on that left side and seen that secret room already from the other side. and didn't like me trying to figure out how to get into it. That's rude. You get the high jump boots and they don't let you escape through this. You need to spider ball anyway. important item in the game. Oh, 
I can jump and then spring and, and then spider ball in midair. Gonna hit that. Gonna hit that again. Gonna hit that three times. Just plain old water, it's fine. to find the other one of these tubes, since there's only one entrance above that led to one of them. I guess that is because the other one was below. change animation. an amount of murder remaining before we can move on. Okay. 
This is where I live now. Don't worry about it. If you're upset that that worked, and there were no consequences for that, good, you should be. here for absolutely no reason whatsoever. but I have not been up through this one yet.
I think this is actually a higher entrance than the, the one I got into that room from. This seems like it could be a thing. Alright. I think we have definitely confirmed the thingness of this room. Ouch. Just jump into those spikes. Very good. some water, and then when I get back we will leave these ruins and proceed on to the next area. And murder some more Metroids. How much are we up to the next time? Ten, wow. Ten whole Metroid.
I am back. I have returned with hydration. I mentioned at the start of the game that the main, you know, heroic area music is very normal, and I think that's actually good for the game as a contrast to the other weird music, because as we return here from the sub-area to the main hub, we'll go from this almost anti-music of the, the ruins to non-music ambient noises here. Finally, to actual music. And so I just think that's a, a cool progression back and forth between the, the hub area of relative safety versus the more unknown dangerous Metroid areas. We're going this way. Now. There you go. Here's the song. Unlike the other ambient songs, this one actually has multiple layers. There are three in here. There's in the, the background that constant warbling noise. Then in the foreground, there's this kind of constant chirping. And then there are the occasional... burst of noise like that. And the thing about this song is that they're actually all unsynchronized with each other. They're not the same length, so if you let it keep going, they will gradually phase in and out of each other. It can be hard to tell because they're very kind of random. Thank <laughs> you. 
have ripped off the idea of this song multiple times over things I have made. That was an actual fade transition. So maybe we'll keep looking up here first. And that's also a fade transition. Very, very poorly. Just a missile refill hidden in the sand. That's where I keep all my missiles. Blaster Master being the fact here going on, where because of the wave trajectory, I'm actually unable to hit anything I'm aiming at with it. That might actually be all that's in here. Besides robots. One thing I'm shooting at. It's my humble request to the video game.
Okay, hi. Uh, okay, hi. I'm down here now. So it is up to there somewhere. Come on down. I don't know why this run is so big. feels like there could be something up there. Is there? Probably not. Hey, ten missiles. My favorite. I should actually put on Spider Ball if I want to spider up the wall. That's a vital, vital step. Seems like there could be something down there, but... Oh, no, no, no. Never 9 or 11. Those are completely forbidden. this hole without getting shot. Again. I got shot again. Okay, I didn't get shot that time. I ran into the enemy, so that doesn't count. This is like Super Metroid where there is a timing on the space jump. You can't just double jump at any point. No matter how much you may want to. And believe me, I want to.
down here and work our way back up later. Okay, that was also somewhat rude. That a bomb blast launched me from 30 feet below me. Oops. I want that. 30 feet above, rather. Eight Metroids left in this sub area. It's not the best timing of anything I've ever executed in my life. Jumping is hard. I don't think there's actually anything else up there. But eight Metroid seems like a lot for just the one path I didn't take. So I feel like I probably missed something somewhere up there. I guess we'll find out.
actually giving me a whole save point. Might have some concerns. down here. That's a one-way exit. That is perhaps a little ill-mannered of the game. There's also literally nothing down here. nothing up here. This seems just like a closed arena. Correct. To get in there until I spider ball. Uh, can I 
I get through here? Once again, this game is relatively good about while it does hide passageways just like in completely random places that you would never look like the original game does. It also shows you places you can't access like this, so you end up knowing that you should be looking for another exit out of the room. Unlike in Metroid 1, where literally, like, most of the time, your only option is to bomb every single wall in the game until you find the mandatory way to progress. This is a, a platform I was walking on, which is why I wasn't actually jumping as high as I wanted to. I've been had. down here. Oh, okay. I think that answered the question of was there something else down here? Oh, my God. 
one exit. Were there two exits on the side? No, just the one, all right. This area is a bit funky to keep track of where I've been. Once again, back to dropping every single frame in the game. Well, it's fine, because all of these rooms look exactly alike, so you're really not missing anything. I've been everywhere along that entrance to the right. I think that entrance to the left is where I came from. I think I missed anything here. Still two Metroids left in this wing. Oh, my God. 
been to already. with a Metroid at the bottom that I landed on and I was kind of upset about it.
me check that room again. I don't think. There's anything else to find there, but we'll see. Haven't saved in a minute. Here's a room I have not been to yet. Hopefully there are two Metroids in it. Time for an unpleasant climb. Alright. Everything was... Oh, alright. Sir? Two Metroid husks, so that bodes well.
Some good health. Thank <laughs> you. 
bit of unfortunate level design here where killing all the Metroids in that area drops the acid for one Metroid outside the area, which then drops the acid back in the area for two Metroids, which will, will then drop the acid again. Just some busy work going back and forth. later block. And just not, not even worry about those. it was too much to hope for that there would be a health refill on the other side. this guy. Beastly, the next form we see. Very important. Ouch. <laughs> 
that didn't happen. This just lets you go real far without having to take that left, that first path. I love these super pixelated mega walls that look like they came from a completely different game. play the video game. Bye. <laughs> 
actually nothing here. landing on this forever. It's fun. It's the new challenge. definitely being toyed with here. A thing. I 
I insist that there must be a thing around here somewhere. Doesn't even hurt. insist that there is a Metroid in this corridor somewhere. Alright, back to full health, everything is fine. Did try. I'm riding that pillar already.
know, is this the... This might be the place where I killed the single Metroid before earlier. That opened up the two Metroids on the other side. Maybe that's why there's nothing here. And I've already forgotten what this room was. Maybe the place I had to go was all the way down there. With the wall that didn't actually break when I shot it. Perils of playing a game with no auto map, so you actually have to remember where you've been. I swear that I tried missiles on those before, but apparently I did not. Hey, buddy. Leave. Leave me alone. Just stay away from me. Personal space, please. There you go. Here's one of those surprises where the, the Metroid husk is actually after you fight it, as opposed to before it or in the same room as it. Save point somewhere around here. I'll stop here for this week and pick up again next week. We'll definitely finish it up, probably early, and then we'll have to find something else to fill the rest of the stream time with. I don't think it will be another three hours of this game. Thanks for stopping by for 60,000 dropped frames. A delightful, delightful amount of dropped frames. Hopefully my internet also cooperates next week more than it did this week. And I'll see you all later for this. A very good video game that I do enjoy a lot.